Hi, this is Daniel J. Lewis from the AudacityPodcast.com. After showing how this copywriting AI can help improve your podcast descriptions, I've received some worthy skepticism over whether it is truly AI generated. So I want to show you the AI so you can see what it's doing. And I'll show some more examples with the many, many, many other podcast descriptions I've received. Seriously, if you're watching this and you haven't sent me a description yet, don't worry. I have got hundreds that I can go through. I'm overwhelmed with podcast descriptions. But for this example, I'm going to use my own podcast, the Audacity to Podcast, to demonstrate what I could do with Jarvis for coming up with ideas, writing content, even brainstorming episodes. And then in the coming days, I'll show you some more examples using podcast subscriptions I have received from you or other podcasters that I run through different templates and come up with some really impressive results. So let's jump into this. When you sign up for Conversion AI or Jarvis, you get this new interface that gives all of these templates and they are adding templates so frequently and there is a major new announcement coming out later this month i don't know what it is i have some guesses as to what it might be that it might help people like you and i who create longer form content articles podcast episodes videos and such that can help us create entire pieces of content from the ai and then you just have to go back through and touch up a few things this is unique content it's generating. It passes the tests to ensure that you haven't plagiarized this from anywhere else. So I'm going to use my own podcast as an example on some of these and demonstrate what we can do with it. So this is the Audacity to Podcast. And for a pro podcast description, I'm going to say this podcast. Now, the reason why I'm saying this podcast, you wouldn't want to start a podcast description saying this podcast, but I'm putting it in here so that the artificial intelligence knows I'm talking about a podcast. So I'll use my tagline here. This podcast gives you the guts, teaches you the tools to start and grow your own podcast for passion or profit. I'll copy that so I don't have to retype it later. Now I can put in a different tone of voice here, and it has multiple tones of voices that we could look at. And if I go here to their actual list in the documentation, here's some examples, funny, casual, excited, bold, dramatic, et cetera, et cetera. I like dramatic. That sounds pretty cool. So I'm going to put that in here as a tone of voice. You can actually put sometimes a person's name in here, like a celebrity, and it will try to imitate that person's voice. And sometimes it does pretty good. So I will bump this down to output only one result and tell it to generate the content. So using my podcast name, my podcast description, and giving it a tone of voice, I'm going to get a result that's generated using this AIDA framework, attention, interest, desire, action. Here's what it says. Do you want to start a podcast? The Audacity to Podcast is the best place, is the best podcast for people who are looking to start their own show. We'll teach you everything from how to get started, what equipment you need, and how much it will cost. You'll be able to learn about all of the different types of podcasts out there and which one might work best for your personality. Whether you're doing this as a hobby or a business venture will help make sure your show sounds great. Our goal is not only to help new podcasters succeed, but also provide them with information they can use in order to grow their audience. Click here now and sign up for our newsletter so that we can keep you updated on all things related to starting your own podcast. Wow. Now, there are some things that occasionally, because Jarvis doesn't know everything, it will occasionally get factually wrong, but all you have to do is just click on this. Like, here's the example where it's saying click here now and sign up for our newsletter. Well, I'm not offering a newsletter. I'm offering a podcast. So I can just come in here and say click here now and follow the podcast so we can keep you updated. Boom. Simple. And it saved that. And I can easily copy this, paste it anywhere else, delete the attention, interest, desire, action parts of this. I can favorite it to be able to more quickly find this. And I can keep pressing this generate or tell it to generate all kinds of outputs. And for each output, it does take a little bit longer for it to work through. But this is amazing. And this is just one framework. Now I wanna show you, there are other frameworks we could go through like, well, let's try this one. The problem agitate solution, agitate solution. 
framework. So I'll put this in here again. Oops. Let's go back and copy that description. Okay, that's the description I wanted. And let's enter the Audacity to podcast the name. And I'll leave the tone of voice blank this time. Well, no, this time I want to see what it says if I say funny. So the problem agitate solution, agitate, I keep saying that incorrectly. The AI doesn't say it incorrectly. Here we go. Podcasting is the new black, but it's a lot harder than you think to get started and grow your podcast into something that will actually make money for you. See, what it's doing is it's showing you this is the problem. Now it agitates that problem. You'll learn how to start, grow, and monetize your show in this podcast hosted by me, Nick Lopert. Now, again, it got something factually incorrect. That's because I didn't write my name in the description. So I can just come in here and say Daniel J. Lewis. I've been helping podcasters succeed since 2008. Again, I could change that date to correct it. So I know what works and what doesn't when it comes to starting a successful podcast business or hobby. This weekly podcast is full of actionable tips, tricks, and strategies that are guaranteed to help you create an awesome show people love. I like that. And it even uses the word awesome, which as an American, I tend to use a little bit too often, but not as often as some other people I know. Let's try, just so you can see how a different tone of voice will work with this. So I didn't think that was really funny, but let's try angry. I'm not sure funny is one of the the suggestions. Let's try angry, just to see what it says. (laughs) The number of podcasts is growing rapidly, but most podcasters don't know the first thing about how to create a great podcast episode. If you want to start your own podcast, you need an easy-to-use guide that shows you how to get started and grow your audience. You can't find this anywhere else. My new book, again, factually incorrect, but easily fixable. My new, we could say podcast, The Audacity to Podcast gives you everything you need and nothing more to launch your show today. It's the only step-by-step podcasting system available in one place at one low price. Again, I can correct a few things that it got factually wrong, that it guessed on. That's what the AI is doing, is it's guessing on some of these things. But it is so impressive. Still, this is 95% or more there on something that could be usable in different marketing. And here are two examples of different ways I could market this. I could split test this on pages or emails or try it in many different places or for different audiences. And speaking of audiences... There is, let's go back to the main template page to find this. There's another thing that you can use to specifically target certain audiences. Like, I think this is, no, not that one. Let's go to, where, what? I think it is under marketing, no. There's so many different templates here, as you can see, persuasive. Nope. What I'm looking for is one of these, and they've got so many of them. Give some great examples if you're going to, yeah, here we go, audience. So this is where we can enter something in here as who is the ideal audience for this. So in this case, blog post topic ideas, and you could replace blog with podcast episode. So podcast episode topic ideas. And here I'll put in again, the audacity to podcast. I'll paste that description that I used. My audience is, let's say it's hobby podcasters. And tone of voice. This time I'll leave it blank just to see what it comes up with. Now I can enter some examples on some of these templates to say this is an example of a blog topic that I might use or a podcast episode topic that I might do. Like how to grow your podcast is one. I'll add another, how to monetize your podcast. And let's start another is, uh, let's get a little different with this one. Starting a podcast is easier than you think. And let's, yeah, let's set this to three outputs and generate. So the most common mistakes podcasters make. My top podcasting tips for getting started. 
nine podcasting mistakes that you don't want to make. Fantastic. I could keep clicking this button and getting more and more and more ideas. Now, let's get really creative with this and start combining some of these things. So I want to take this one. I just copy that. I could actually add one of these to the examples to say, yeah, this one's great. Add that to the examples to generate even more. But what I'm going to show here is now that I've got a topic, I'm going to build an outline with that topic. So this one is the most common mistakes podcasters make. And I'll set this to generate just one output. Generate. Number one, they don't know their audience. Number two, they're not consistent with scheduling and content. Number three, they don't have a clear call to action. Number four, their audio quality is poor or they talk too much without giving the listener time to digest what's being said. Number five, the podcast isn't edited for clarity, mistakes, and flow. That's a fantastic list. Now, could you add more to that? Of course you could. Let's add more. Let's press that button one more time and see what else it comes up with. So exact same input. Almost every time you press this button, you'll get different outputs from it. And you could mix and match these outputs, pull your favorites, or combine the two lists completely together. So here's this one. Not having a clear outline of what you want to talk about, being too long-winded and rambling on without any structure, just like I am, and demonstrating my new favorite podcasting tool, or tool for pod podcasting, rather. Talking at the listener instead of talking with them. Ooh, that's a good one. Having poor audio quality or not using a microphone at all, not being able to speak confidently in front of an audience. These are fantastic. And that came from the suggestion of the AI for a topic. Now, let's get even more in depth with this. Let's take one of these and we're going to improve this because that's not quite a complete sentence. So I'll use this quick uh, jumper thing, quick menu to come over here and come to the content improver. Take a piece of content and rewrite it to make it more interesting, creative, and engaging. So here I've put in not being able to speak confidently in front of an audience. Let's give it one output. I usually start with one output because it lets me see, is it on the right track? If not, then I might tweak the input a little bit. If it's on the right track, then I might generate more outputs unless the output I received is fantastic. Now, look at this. From not even a complete sentence, it's hard to speak confidently in front of an audience when you have stage fright. I used to have a really bad case of stage fright, and it got so bad that I was afraid to do anything on my own in public. This is the level of embarrassment people go through with stage fright, where they're unable to speak confidently in front of an audience with confidence because they're terrified about what might happen if the speech goes wrong. That's beautiful. That's a fantastic couple paragraphs there. And this doesn't have to be all of your content. This could inspire things. And what I found with some emails that I was working on the other day for my podcast reviews and an all new email sequence there on how to get more podcast reviews. I started with the AI for one email, and just from that starting, it got me in the groove to write so much content in one night, and it inspired new ideas. Like, maybe this inspires some other things you could add to a list for an episode, or you could build on these concepts that are presented right here. Like, after this, you could then go on to explain this is how you do this. There's so much other good stuff here. There's so many templates that you can use. And I could go on and on forever. I, I don't know how long this video is at this point. But seriously, if you want to try this, click on that link that I've put in the video, excuse me, in the email or below this video. The audacity to podcast.com slash Jarvis will take you there and you can sign up for this and try it yourself. And the way this works is that you get a certain number of credits to use per month and bonus credits roll over and they hand out bonus credits. Like, <laughs> well, I don't want to say anything political, but they hand out a lot of bonus credits. And so those bonus credits do not expire. They do get carried over from month to month, but your monthly allotment of credits stay the same. You start with 20,000 words and each word that's generated 
counts against that. Now, there are certain things that are factored in, like if you receive something that you have to report as this is a horrible response, some of those are deducted from that monthly allotment. But at 20,000 words, as much as I'm using this, I haven't hit that limit of 20,000 words yet. But if you write a lot, then you might come up with other things. Now let's see some of these other things. Uh, you know, let's, let's have some fun with this one. Ridiculous marketing ideas. So I'll put in the Audacity to Podcast again. And I need to go back and get that other description of the podcast. There it is. Now let's see. Tone of voice. Ridiculous marketing ideas. Tone of voice. Let's try funny on this one. And let's see what it says for some ridiculous marketing ideas, a fun template that generates bad marketing ideas that might get you on the front page of the paper for all the wrong reasons. We are not responsible responsible for you ending up in jail or losing all your customers if you attempt these. This is a joke. Record this episode in person outside on Graham Cracker Street with a boombox playing muffled MIDI versions of our podcast. Oh, that's that's funny. Take VR photos of podcast hosts and make photoshopped stock photos oh this is fun give away thousands of limited edition tapes and vinyls that haven't aged uh, haven't aged appropriate since 1999 you know what actually this this could be a fun thing to do and i've heard of some podcasters doing this where they put maybe their best of or their best podcast episode on a cassette tape or put it on vinyl and they sell those as collector's editions so even though some of these are ridiculous see what happened just now is here was something ridiculous, but it just inspired a very practical, actionable idea that I could use or that you could use in other things. Let's try some of these other templates and see what else we could go to. And I apologize if you're looking at one of these and saying, try that one, try that one. And I don't try it. Uh, persuasive bullet points. Let's try this. And for this one, let's try professional. So for the Audacity Podcast, you will learn all you need to know about how a podcast works. Learn from the best and get their tips, tricks, secrets, and insights into this new medium. Get advice on how to build an audience that will convert into a reliable cash cow. <laughs> Option of annual membership or one-time purchase for lifetime access. Again, factually incorrect, but that's okay. These are good persuasive bullet points. Sometimes... This can even actually tone of voice, you know, let's say emotional. Sometimes it will give a result that says, here's an emotional persuasive bullet point. So let's see what happens if I actually tell it, use an emotional tone of voice. Free seven lesson course to start and grow your podcast. Learn how to open up opportunities for income slash passion. Gain the guts needed to start a podcast for any topic imaginable. Get the necessary skills to create an amazing podcast that reaches listeners. So notice here, a couple of these, I would say, tap into some emotions a little bit, like guts and skills necessary, because as you might know or relate with, sometimes podcasters feel like they, they just don't have the skills to create a podcast. They think it requires all of this radio background or extensive writing skills or such. Hey, you know what? Actually, using this AI can make up for a lack of some skills. As I think this demonstrates really well, let's try a couple more templates. Uh, let's go to, oh, here's a good one. This one's brand new, feature to benefit. So this builds on the concept where so often we tend to focus on the features of something. Like my podcast talks about this. Let's type this in. My podcast talks about, let's say, Bitcoin. That's something I saw earlier in here tone of voice, I'll just leave that blank. Now, when you see it says witty, since it's faded out, that's just, it's blank. So feature to benefit. What, how can we turn this feature into a benefit? Learn about Bitcoin. You see, no longer are we saying this is the fact. My podcast talks about Bitcoin. Fact. Now it's, this is the benefit. Learn about Bitcoin. Get the latest news on Bitcoin. Oh, this is where I saw that emotional spot. So standard benefits, emotional benefits, gain financial freedom. These are benefits, not simply features. Uh, what's another one here? We could do 
This podcast features celebrity interviews. Fact, yeah, that's a feature. Benefits, learn about celebrities and their lives. Find out what makes them tick. Enjoy an entertaining podcast to listen to on your commute. These are great benefits. You could use this for marketing. You could use this in your episodes. You could use this on social media. Like one of these could be the the reason you should subscribe to the podcast. And you could fill up a whole queue full of recurring tweets or posts with using some of these different ones and see which one performs best. You could use these as email subject lines. Well, that's another thing. Instead of using that, well, although you could use that for email subject lines, there is an email subject line template. If you're still watching this, you are a brave soul because I'm going on and on and on. So the product is the Audacity to Podcast. Let's say this email, this email is telling you how to subscribe to the podcast. Generate one result. Subscribe to the podcast. Okay. Subscribe at the best time. Let's generate a few results since these are short. How to subscribe to the podcast. Want to listen, but not sure where to start? That's, that's a good one right there. What to listen to for Super Bowl Sunday. That's very nice and timely. Subscribe at the best time. I read that one already. So there is so much that this can do. And this is just the beginning of this. So many templates are already. You can see here these featured to benefit before after bridge and unique value propositions. These were added yesterday at the time of this recording and then this uh, this previous line here these three these six rather were added last week i think and there are some others here that were added at different times as well a creative story was a recent one let's this is the last one that i'll show this is completely off the wall has nothing to do with marketing but you could use it for marketing because you could create a fictional character as some people say your avatar really it's your audience's avatar this could describe your ideal listener so i will say that let's say aaron wants to start a podcast but doesn't know how until she listens to the audacity to podcast. I'll leave the tone of voice as it is. This will be our bedtime story. I'm going to start a podcast, Erin said excitedly. What? Her friend asked. I've been listening to this one amazing podcast that has helped me so much and I want to share it with the world. Her friend smiled knowingly at her and nodded in support. The next day, Aaron downloaded Audacity. Check that out. It even knew that Audacity is software to download. Onto her laptop and started talking into it for about an hour before getting really tired of sitting still on a chair like she was being interviewed for TV. So she took off all of the furniture. That's that. Okay, that could be corrected. So she took off all of the furniture from her living room, except for the couch, and sat set up a circle of cushions around herself. Oh, this describes a podcaster so well. While laying down in the middle so she could talk without moving too much. And, and by the way, that might be good for acoustics. With some music playing softly in the background. That's great. That's a good start to a story. You could build on this so much more. We could have added more to the plot here and come up with a great story that we could use in explainer videos, fictional promotions, all kinds of things. This is just such a an amazing tool. I really, really enjoy this tool. In fact, in all of the examples that you're going to see that I've used from your podcast descriptions that I've received, I was going to have my assistant Steve run the descriptions through Jarvis and test them, but I enjoy using this tool so much. I did all of them myself and it, I was just so impressed with the results as well. So I hope you check it out the audacity to podcast.com slash Jarvis, or click the link below this video, or that I already sent you through email. And I think you'll be impressed by this. Everyone I've shown this to has been impressed. I am regularly impressed. 
This helps me to get started when I am facing writer's block or podcaster's block. This helps me improve content that I've created. This helps me brainstorm new ideas. This helps me make the content I already have better or figure out better ways to communicate some of those things, like changing the features to benefits so it communicates better and connects better with people. There are so many ways that you could use this with your podcast to generate ideas, help you create written content, promote your podcast better, describe your podcast better, maybe even come up with a whole new podcast based on certain things that you see or topic ideas and so much more. And we just scratched the surface. I really think you'll enjoy using Jarvis. I enjoy this a lot. I think the pricing is extremely reasonable for what you get with this. So I'll show the pricing page. Now, keep in mind, this could change by the time that you're watching this, but this is actually uh, the, so this is a limited time price that they have right now. $29 a month gets you 20,000 words generated. And let's see, I just want to, see how many words I've generated. So I've done a lot with Jarvis. I've generated a bunch of examples that I've shown in emails and I, I've not even tapped half of my monthly allotment. And I haven't touched at all my bonus credits that I've earned through different things. Like I said, they give out these credits like candy, not from a creepy guy in a van though. So 20,000 words is great. If you do a lot of writing, then you might need more. That's fine. 28 templates and growing mobile friendly. Yes, it does work great on mobile. Yes, you can have team members for this. So your podcast co-host, or if you have clients, you can use this with your clients. There's so much here. And so for $29 a month, that might sound like a lot, but for me, it's saved me so much time and probably saved me so much expense from hiring someone to come up with these ideas or write some of this content. And I'm seeing in their community, they have a great community and they are very engaged. This whole AI copywriters community thing, they do a lot with their community and for their community. Oh yeah, and by the way, seven day money back guarantee if you don't like it. And I tried it for seven days thinking, I'm just going to try this. I don't know if I'll actually use it. I loved it. I fell in love with this. I pay for it myself. I am not comped an account or anything like that. Yes, I do have an affiliate relationship. So I earn if you purchase through my affiliate links, but I am paying for this as well and using it. And it's saving me so much time. It's saving me money having to pay someone else to come up with ideas or write content. And especially since I have so little time to work on certain things, Getting a good jump start and speeding things up has been inspiring. It's been helpful. I love what this can do and what it's doing for me. And I think you'll love what it can do for you too. So don't think of it as $29 a month as an expense. Think of it as how much time it's saving you and potentially how much money it's saving you. And it is something that you could sign up now for a month, use it for a month to generate some content. And then maybe you take a break, you pause your subscription. Now, if you rejoin later, you will have to pay whatever the price is at that time, because they say limited time price. So if that price goes up later, you'll have to join at whatever that current price is. But I wanted to lock in at this lower price. So I am a paying customer of this and I am using it for a lot of stuff. And I really, really like it. I think you'll like it too. So that's Jarvis from Conversion AI. Check it out at theaudacitytopodcast.com slash Jarvis. I'm Daniel J. Lewis. If you watch this video all the way to the end, you are a brave soul. Thank you so much for sticking with it as I just rattled on and on about one of my new favorite tools in podcasting. I appreciate you. Thank you for your engagement and thank you for checking this out. And if you do sign up using my affiliate link, I do get a commission from that, but only if you join through my affiliate link and stay on as a paying user. I'm not paid to make this video. I only earn a commission when you sign up. And as I try to say frequently, I only recommend things that I truly believe in, not based on what I earn, if I even earn anything from them. 
And I love that I can earn something from this, but I bring this to you because I believe in this product. It's helping me. I think it can help you. And I'd love to see what kind of results you get from this and how it helps you. So feel free to let me know what you think when you sign up for it and use it with your podcast. I'm Daniel J. Lewis from the audacitypodcast.com. Thank you for watching this entire video. Keep podcasting and try some AI with it too.